Have you ever had the chance to do something freely without anyone making you do it or you yourself making yourself do it? Well, we will understand why we can do something freely without anything. Hello everyone, my name is Puka and today I'm going to tell you all about the human rights. We have six questions to discuss. The first one is, what are human rights? Well, human rights are, you may think the rights is like the term right or the correct or right door, but no. Right can have three meanings or many maybe meanings, lots of meanings. But the third type of meaning right is human rights, which means we have the ability to do something freely without anyone making us do. So like somebody at first in the a random year a random year in the past in the nineteen six and then when in the nineties some the policemen banned nobody should enter the park. But now in the two thousands we can go into the park freely. That means the policemen have not banned the park anymore. So you have the ability to go inside the park again without anyone punishing you. Second, what is the Universal Declaration of Human Rights? Well, it is a, uh, like a big building with lots of flags on top. Those are the flags that will represent the, the countries that have human rights and can maybe include maybe half of the world or all of the world, I don't know. But before, when we, there was before human rights, the, some people got together and made a building called the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. It is where we can get more rights, so we can do something freely. More doing something more freely or doing something or doing something freely more more of them well the third question what are the rights that humans have well you know humans might have trillions of thousands of them and uh, they have the ability to read books whenever they go home or eat whenever they like and a self-eating dinner party or being to uh, going to the park freely with your parents permission the like, lots of things i can't i can't even uh, say them out because last time i dreamed that in the future the universal declaration of human rights would allow would allow people to buy parachutes and then jump out of the windows if they live in an apartment and then they can parachute down. Well, I'm not sure because my apartment has 40 floors. I live almost halfway. My friend lives halfway, directly halfway of the building. And if somebody is living on the top floor, then I don't think they have a good choice to parachute down. Well, but anyways. Fourth question. Why are human rights important? Well, human rights are important because if we want to do something, but not everybody want to make that happen. Thieves want to rob banks and uh, kill people. I don't know. Thieves do very uh, bad things. So that makes the government very angry and bad. That's why human rights are important. That, and that's also why the Universal Declaration of Human Rights is important too. They make human rights that are safe for us. And now, the fifth question. When is Human Rights Day? Well, it falls on December 26th or, 10, or December 25th. And, uh, I don't know, but it, feel, it is like from 10 to 30 on December. Why? Because... The Universal Declaration of Human Rights is uh, like made on uh, that day. And that's also on the time when the human rights are made. And now the final question. Why is there a special day? 
Well, it is a special day because you are. It is the day that you are allowed to do anything. Only you, or maybe your neighborhood, if they're friendly and nice too. If you go to jail, before you go to jail, you can protest that you haven't done anything yet. That other person did to me before, and so you you can first you can rush home. No, first you have to go and rush around your neighborhood, telling that、uh, you are going to be arrested in jail. If your neighborhood is friendly, they may protest for you. They may like、uh, defense defense shield for you, like、uh, when the attacking infantry is the president. Or somebody who is going to capture you to jail because you did something bad. They think somebody, they think that you have done something bad. Your neighbors will make a, like a defensive, a defensive shield that will help you, that will help you, like、uh, be safe from、uh, the predators. So, I advise you that you better do everything correctly, and so that's why we have human rights. Human rights can help us be safe and sound. So, I hope you're all following human rights. So, be safe and sound. Bye bye, and thank you for listening.